going on guys? I'm just going to warn you really quick. This is just the training update video and there's really not much um, going on as far as uh, physique updates or stuff like that. There's a little couple things like I normally do but again more of a predominantly training video of me hitting back on Tuesday. I took my day off Wednesday. Just did cardio and did legs Thursday today. It's Thursday night. You guys are watching this on Friday. So, um, I decided before that rest day to just kind of take a couple of those, you know, semi deload days where I just didn't kill the weights too hard, but did good contractions and really focus on weak points. So, I started off with really controlled, not too heavy. Uh, lap pull downs, I went up to 170 pounds. So that's pretty good working weight for me, honestly, but I did two heavy sets at 170, four working sets total, and I supersetted with the rope pull down. So again, really working on keeping the front of my lats wide so when I hit my physique poses, they pop. I have not been focusing on heavy pull ups and pull downs. So anytime I go to hit back, it's all about making sure I stimulate right here, which is like the strongest part of my body. So even in a deficit and even contest lean, if I focus on that muscle, it will stay fuller. So next superset was controlled seated row. I worked up to 200 pounds for my third working set. Um, and then I'd use the 45 pound plate here. As you can see, I'm focusing on extending up and then pretending like I'm flexing, doing like a rear lap spread. So kind of like extending up and then pretending I'm sucking my triceps in and back like that. Just to bring the lower back tie in, my posing coach, since I started working with him again this season, always tells me to work on that muscle group. And I know it's a little bit too late, but it's mostly just where I hold fat. I mean, he doesn't know how much I deadlift and how much back work I actually do for my lower back. So. He's just trying to tell me what I need and you know, I tried to listen. So after that, I just went into straight sets. I did three sets here, only working up to 70 pounds. These are brutal. I was rowing as high and hard as I could. And then I did uh, shrugs. Again, I did about three working sets for each exercise, but only one to two heavy sets. So for lap pull down, it was 170s. For seated row, it was 200. For back extension, it was 45 pound plate. Um, and for the bent over rows, it was 70 pound dumbbells and here on the shrugs, I did a few sets, like I said, worked up to 140 and uh, yeah, traps are still coming along nicely. And that was it for back and traps. That took about 60 minutes and I spent about 25 minutes uh, on biceps. I did 15 pound dumbbells for reps I couldn't even count. I think I did upwards of 50 reps. Then I rested three minutes, grabbed 25 pound dumbbells, and as you can see here in three times speed, I didn't count reps again, but I think I got uh, probably something like 12 to 15, and then I did one more set uh, with 25 pounds a few minutes later, and that was pretty much it for the uh, back and buys workout. I did do one arm uh, cable rows, like hammer style, but just a couple sets after this. So good volume, good pump, no pain, no tendonitis pain today, which is great. And uh, I looked really full this day because my morning weight, I think, was 199 pounds. So crazy up from the Sunday weigh and I had the day I saw my coach where I was 193 just two days before this. So Next clip you see after this training will be my morning weight today, leg day. So I'll catch you guys in the voiceover for leg day. Right after we finished this arm workout, I did wrist curls and uh, just standing reverse wrist curls. But I did go up to 185 on those. So uh, yeah, you guys will see that really quick and I'll catch you in the morning and up for the leg day in about a minute, 30 seconds, yeah. I'll see you guys soon. What's going on guys? Just woke up. It is 7.50, so we're gonna get meal one in around eight and go train, leg day, so cardio will be after the leg training. But all week my weight has been up since that refeed day. I'm talking 200 pounds morning weight, so today we're finally back to the perfect weight. 198.4, feeling much tighter and fuller, so. We're right in there. Um, just don't want to peak too early, kind of like I did last week. So um, 
it's gonna be a nice long and chill leg day getting an early start and then I'm gonna have posing so I'm gonna train legs have a meal come home have a meal and head to posing and then uh, catch up on some studying so I'm excited it's probably the second to last leg day or third to last leg day so anyways I'll catch you guys at meal one and then I'll see you in the gym let's do it guys right away we're back in this first set of 315 I was actually texting Devin Palumbo of Beast Aesthetics right after I finished this first set and as you can see it is slow and controlled as hell my lower back is flat at the bottom I almost kind of felt like I was starting an Olympic lift at the bottom just sitting my ass as far back as I could or down as I could rather and keeping my weight like on the outside of my feet spreading my knees taking my time with the reps and damn these hurt. So I texted Devin right after this set of eight, which I did make as long and as slow as possible, which wrecked me. And he said to definitely go with volume and not more weight. So here's my second set of 315, followed by a third set of 315 for eight. Still keeping my lower back nice and engaged at the bottom. As you can see, when I dip down, boom, it straightens out hardcore. And for the last set, I'll go ahead and leave it in live speed and we'll check this out right now. I uh, got kind of a low camera angle. I really just wanted to see my lower back. Ass sweat already coming through in set four, pretty strong. But uh, yeah, I guess my camera angle kind of sucked there. But you can see set or rep three here, sucking down the lower tailbone, or the tailbone and lower back. That's the goal here, guys. Not trying to just grip it and rip it straight legged, which for some reason for me is really not painful at all in my lower back and I can just cheat. That's like how I cheat with deadlifts. I don't sink low, I let my lower back round and I just jerk it off the ground and I don't get any back pain so I don't recommend that and it's really not good for building muscle. It's just good for I guess getting stronger in that position so anyways trying to avoid that style of pulling as I'm trying to keep my lower back thick, solid and tight for this contest. So yeah Next exercise was hamstring curls. Um, I did about four working sets. The first set was a straight regular set and every set after that I did seven to 10 reps of the half top portion, which you can see here. Pretty controlled. This was a little faster than it felt like I was doing it, but by this point I was pretty fried because this is my last set. And now I'm going into the full range right here, absolutely trying to destroy myself. I remember saying, or hopefully telling you guys a couple weeks ago how I'm trying to taper off my leg days and not really kill myself because it's not worth um, impeding my recovery in the other muscle groups because I'm not really going to be showing my legs but this was a pretty tough leg workout and overall was pretty draining but I feel good later I posed a couple hours after this which went well so although I did get good volume and pretty decent weight in, um, I'm so accustomed to training so hard on legs that uh, I was able to, I think I'm going to be able to recover from this just fine. So to finish up after hitting hams, um, I left quads for the end. I hit adductors and abductors pretty heavy here. Um, did two heavy sets, one warm up set, really opening up the abductors and really opening up the adductors as well and then I went into my quad work. So it was about four supersets like I've been doing, which I've been honestly loving. I like it better than squatting. I get pain squatting. I don't get pain doing this and my lower back doesn't get exhausted. So super deep leg press, really trying to bring the legs through a full range of motion, stretching them as hard as I can because uh, it just kind of seems like the smart thing to do. So I did 15 to 20 reps on all these, actually 20 reps, as you're gonna see here in three times people blow through it. Worked up the two plates. I don't think it went any heavier by this point. I was just trying to finish up the workout. And uh, as you can see, I really am going as deep as I can, keeping my stomach sucked in as to not rest on it. And um, then superset it with leg extensions, which, who did I get this from? I forget. I don't really know that many people that do leg extensions, honestly, but 
I like how Juan Morel always talks about supersetting every one of his quad exercises, like he'll squat and leg press, squat and leg press, which is obviously 10 times harder than what I'm doing here. But to superset a pressing leg movement with an extension feels damn good. So finished up here, was really, really getting it on this set. Um, if you guys haven't done leg extensions after leg press or, quad, or uh, squats controlled, it's the best pain ever, and I don't think leg extensions are bad for your knees, for the record, if anyone's still watching 10 minutes into this pretty much just voiceover bit. Um, squatting, deadlifting, and any type of movement when you're standing and lunging creates shearing tension on your joints because your joint is rubbing together like this. When you're doing an extension, you're lifting a pad from the bottom. You're essentially creating space between your joint, so you're not shearing at all. You are using your tendon, your, um, what is it? your patella tendon, but if you're doing it a controlled and good weight and you don't have a patella issue, you're not gonna damage your patella tendon. So instead of grinding like this when you're squatting and leg pressing, you're lifting and you're actually creating space and not grinding your joint. So why people don't talk about that is beyond me. Everyone says leg extensions are bad for your knees. That's probably because they do them like dumbasses. Same thing with squats. You know, squats aren't bad for you at all, but if you do it like an idiot, which I probably did, you'll get snapped up. So finish up with calves. That's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you soon. I've been super busy with keeping up with prep school and studying for my three tests next week before spring break. So I'll see you guys soon. Just trying to get an update out. Peace.